Okay, hello everybody. It is two o'clock on Wednesday. I have not worked on my book since Sunday. That was the last I um, was actively working on it, but I finished my um, editing work a little bit early today and I feel like working on my project. So I'm actually out here in the living room kitchen area. Uh, I am going to prep some dinner. I'm really hungry, so we're gonna have a little bit of an early dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a vegan potato soup with homemade rustic no yeast bread. So I'm gonna go ahead, listen to my soundtrack, my um, book playlist while I make some dinner. And then once the potato soup is simmering and the bread is in the oven, I am going to plop my butt down at my computer and see if I can get some words written. Uh, it's two o'clock now, I think I already said that. It will probably take me about half hour or so to get the dinner all prepped. So hopefully I'll be able to sit down and start working by 2.45 or three o'clock. So let's go ahead and head on into the kitchen, make some dinner, and then we'll get started on some writing for the day. Everybody, happy Friday. I think the last time I checked in with you, it was Wednesday. I was making potato soup and I was going to write a little bit. And I don't think I updated you with the work that I did that night, which wasn't much. Um, I wrote it down here on one of those cute stickers from Mandy. So on Wednesday, I wrote 488 words. And that was in about 20 minutes, like in between when I was cooking. Um, so 488 words for 20 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that. And then after like dinner was ready, uh, Greg and I had dinner together and watched a little bit of Netflix. Then I didn't work anymore after dinner. So the last day I wrote was Wednesday, 488 words. And now it is Friday early evening. It's almost 4.30. I worked really hard this week. I got all of my work done. Uh, granted, I did not get to work a half day. So I did work um, a full work day today, and that's why I'm only just now getting started on my personal project. But I have some dinner back there. I have homemade chili over here, and I have a uh, toasted tortilla over here. So I'm pretty hungry. I am going to have some dinner, and we're gonna write a little bit tonight and see what I can get written. I think there's some sort of write-a-thon this weekend. I've seen it on Holly Davis's channel. I'll link her channel down below if you're interested. And I've also seen, um, somebody also posted a comment on one of my previous videos about it. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be sprints all weekend. So if that is the case, uh, I'm gonna be participating in those if I can, because it can be really helpful, um, you know, participating in a sprint and knowing that other people are working as well, that can just be, that can really help productivity. And I learned that during NaNoWriMo when Brooke, Mandy, and I used to stream a lot. And I, I miss those streams so much, uh, but times have just changed. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into a little bit of writing, dive into my bowl of chili and see what I can get done. Okay, hello, I wanted to check in. So I had a really good writing session. Uh, I just came back in from feeding the horses their mash and topping off their hay, it's 6.40. And I'm about to tell you how many words I wrote. Okay, I've written 1,442 words. I would like to get to 1,667, just because that's my NaNoWriMo brain talking. 
Uh, but something very exciting happened, and that is that I crossed the threshold of 20,000 words, and I have been excited for that. Um, I think I talked last weekend about, oh, I might hit 20K, but I didn't hit it last weekend. I hit it today on Friday, March 24th. I'm very happy about it. I feel like 20K is quite a milestone. That's a lot of words to have written in a brand new draft. And I am currently working on chapter 10. Let me turn you a little bit here. I'm at the very end of chapter 10. Um, I am currently working on the last scene in this chapter and I am so excited for chapter 11. I have been looking forward to chapter 11 since I originally outlined this. So I definitely have a lot of excitement right now. I have, you know, that energy that you get when you are coming up on a scene or a chapter that you are really excited to write and that hopefully readers will really enjoy reading. So I'm gonna have so much fun finishing chapter 10 and writing chapter 11. That will probably be like my weekend thing. And also, I think I've decided to participate in Camp NaNoWriMo. So I actually headed over to the NaNoWriMo website, even though I, I don't know if they have updated it. Uh, like recently, I, I still have a little bit of like bitterness toward NaNoWriMo for updating their website years ago because my account has been like riddled with bugs ever since. Uh, but I went over to the NaNoWriMo website. I created my project for April and today is the 24th. April starts on what day? Uh, a week from Saturday, a week from tomorrow is the first day of April. And I made my goal 30,000 words um, because I think this book will end up, I originally thought maybe around 45,000. Um, I'm thinking now between 45 and 50,000 words will probably be where I wrap up this first draft. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting at 20K now. If I write 30,000 words in April, that's going to put me at that 50,000 word mark. So that should complete the first draft. And essentially, I mean, I put in a word count for like for my camp project, but what I want to do is finish the first draft in April. And I do think that that is quite a lofty goal considering I am only just starting to get back into writing again. Um, seriously, I have not written consistently since the end of 2019. So it is quite a goal to say, I'm going to finish this first draft next month, but it might also be a good healthy thing for me because I do tend to um, do well under pressure in terms of like goals and deadlines. I tend to work very well with deadlines. All of my editing work is based on deadlines and I do a really good job at that and at knowing how many pages I need to do every day or you know, in this case, I will be able to know how many words I need to write every week, kind of, in order to finish this project. So I think it'll be a good thing for me. Um, it would be really cool to host some live streams. Granted, I have not hosted a live stream in quite a while, so I might be pretty rusty. Um, I did go live for Indie Writer Fest. That was back in November. I hosted um, a workshop on editing services. If you want to see that video, I will link it down below. Uh, so I have been live in front of people uh, in the past few months, but I haven't like hosted my own live streams. But I do think that would be fun. I also think it would be a good way for me to start kind of getting back into the community a little bit and being able to interact with you guys uh, more actively. So we'll see if I end up um, planning any live streams. I will definitely post a schedule so that you know when I'm going to be around. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to update you, let you know all those good things. I hit 20K, I created a project on Camp Nano. It is a beautiful Friday night. It feels like spring outside and I just made myself a cup of coffee. So I'm definitely going to be writing a little bit more tonight and I will probably check in to let you know how many more words I get written. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it is 7.45 and I am finished writing for the night. I need to go ahead and give my eyes a break since I've been on the computer all day. Uh, but I wanted to give you my final update. So I wrote 2,360 words, which is absolutely fantastic. Very, very happy with that. And the manuscript is sitting at 21,613 words. So I have definitely, you know, broken into the 20K territory. Um, I am going to be curious to see where this book is sitting by the time April ro rolls around. Um, if I'm sitting closer to 30,000, then I will probably revise my Camp Nano goal to be 20. Because again, I'm still thinking this book is going to come in around 45 or 50,000 words. So um, just with that estimate in mind, that's how I'm going to structure my goal for Camp Nano. So I finished chapter 10. I got a decent start on chapter 11. Yeah, I have about one page of chapter 11 written, but um, it leaves me at a really good spot. I am really excited to write this scene. So I will be working on chapter 11 this weekend. I think it'll go pretty fast. So if I write tomorrow and Sunday, um, I will probably finish chapter 11 and be into chapter 12 by next week. And right now, still, I have, um, my outline is 24 chapters, and that's not to, you know, I'm working with the 27 chapter um, outline structure, and that's not to say that I'm lacking chapters, it's just that that 27 chapter structure didn't really fit with what I needed to do, what I feel I needed to do for this story. So. Once I finish chapter 12, I will potentially be halfway done with this book. Uh, okay, I've already talked too much. I am going to go ahead and save everything, back it all up, and I will see you guys either Saturday or Sunday. Bye. Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Greg is back there munching on some French onion dip I just made. Uh, we just got back from the grocery store. Of course the heat's gonna kick on. Uh, we just got back from the grocery store. It's about 12.30, so I'm about half hour late for Holly Davis's uh, productivity sprints, but I'm, I'm here, I'm excited to join them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up out here in the kitchen today because I forgot to open my office door this morning and it's really, really cold in there. It hasn't had a chance to heat up. So we are gonna sit down and do some sprints uh, I think there's like 60 people um, on the live right now, which is awesome. Lots of people participating. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, kind of get my bearings, read over what I was working on last night, and then hop in for the next sprint. Okay, the productivity sprint is done, or the productivity stream just wrapped up. Um, I ended up doing two sprints. I think they did three in total, so it was an hour and a half, three 30-minute sprints. I was able to participate in two of those, and I am quite happy with how many words I wrote, uh, especially because in the first 30-minute sprint I was doing, I, I kept pausing to do a lot of research. Um, again, this book is set in a Regency-inspired era. Um, I've not given any dates or anything like that because I do want to have, um, you know, I don't want to feel too controlled by the time period. And I'm, you know, I also don't intend for this to be like a historically accurate historical novel. Um, again, it is a paranormal romance, but it is set in a Regency era. So I was doing a little bit of research on that during the first sprint. So the first 30 minute sprint, I wrote 418 words. The second sprint went really well. I wrote 883. So in one hour of writing, I've written 1,301 words, which is awesome. And I'm really on a roll. I'm at such a fun part. I think this might be the chapter where our hero and heroine kiss for the first time. I'm not certain, but I think it's going to happen. Um, or at least they're going to get close. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it kind of unfolds. Um, of course, I do have an outline and I've plotted everything out, but I also allow my characters to kind of push back against me if something doesn't really feel right for them. So we will see how this chapter unfolds. Uh, but yeah, 
1300 words in one hour of writing. I'm very happy with that, but I do want to at least get to 667 words today because that's just who I am. So I am going to probably go ahead and dive back into a bit more writing. I'm not going to jump onto another um, stream. I'm just gonna free, free flow today. Uh, so yeah, I will update you when I have written more words. Hello friends, happy Sunday. It is Sunday afternoon. I'm guessing it's around like 1.30, but I'm not sure because I don't have my phone in here to check. And I am about to get started writing for the day. I actually ended up not writing anything else after I um, updated you yesterday. So I just did those two writing sprints and I think I wrote um, 1300 words, like 1301 words or something. So I did not hit 1,667 like I was originally planning. Uh, but yeah, so I am going to write a bit today. We're in my office and I put up some decorations this afternoon. I'm not quite sure how I feel about them yet, but I do like this wall panel back here that I put up. So I did that. I uh, did a little bit of cleaning this morning. I have uh, laundry in the washing machine and in the dryer. So it's just been a uh, kind of getting ready for the week day, which is what I typically do on the weekends. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and sit down. I might go ahead and pour myself a tea here in a little bit. And we are going to work on this first draft of my paranormal romance. friends happy monday i did not uh check back in yesterday on sunday when i was done writing so i'm gonna do so today and we're gonna wrap up this vlog so i went ahead and added up um all of my words for the week so wednesday i wrote 488 friday i wrote 2360 saturday was 1301 and sunday was 1251 and added up that comes to 5000 400 words for the week. So I'm actually gonna write that down. All right, so 5,400 words for the week, 1251 yesterday. I am sitting at 69 pages and just over 24,000 words. So I have definitely made a lot of progress in the past, what, two weeks? Like mostly two weekends that I have been um, back at this project and working on it again. And uh, I am very much looking forward to Camp NaNoWriMo in April. It's going to remain my goal to finish the first draft by the end of April. Uh, again, thinking it's going to come in around 45 to 50,000 words. And I think uh, what I ended up doing was, you know, I kept telling you I am so excited for chapter 11, which definitely, I mean, I am almost done with that whole chunk and it's been so much fun to write. Uh, but chapter 11 had only two like action beats in it and I went ahead and combined it with chapter 12. So now my outline has 23 chapters, um, but I am almost done with the chapter 11, chapter 12. It was so much fun to write. There's a little bit more in order to finish it all up. Um, and this puts us at kind of like the twist that's going to send our main character in a new direction. So really fun to write. I am quite pleased with how this story is coming together. And yeah, that was my little update. Um, that wraps up our writing vlog. Please let me know down below if you are going to be participating in April Camp NaNoWriMo. And if so, let me know what your goals are, uh, what you hope to achieve this coming month. I can't believe it's going to be April as of this Saturday. Uh, Greg and I got sick at the beginning of March and now it's already the end of March and it really just feels like I blinked and the entire month is just gone. So that is crazy, but I'm looking forward to Camp Nano. If I end up uh, deciding to do any live streams, you guys will definitely know about it. I will post about it in the community center and probably on Instagram as well. Uh, so do keep an eye out for that if that's something that you are interested in kind of joining in on. And yeah, I will keep you all updated with that. Thank you for watching this week's writing vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.